Guys, I am signing up for the Open this year. I am so excited. I'm up for the challenge. I want you to be up for the challenge. I want to be a part of something that brings us all closer together. I want to do something that supports uh, CrossFit, the CrossFit Games, uh, the group of us that's out there that believes in personal accountability and personal responsibility. So that's why I'm doing it. See you on the leaderboard. One more traverse to the finish. And time stops when you reach the class. It's like 20 minutes here. 15 minutes time. Eight rounds for time. One traverse. 30 I was wondering when we were going to get some height. I knew it was coming. And thrusters. Yeah. When I saw yeah, there's it, I was no like, way, no I know what's happening. Oh, I'm surprised there's a lot of things you guys do. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Thanks, girl. Good luck, have fun. Thank you. Did you have the pleasure of getting to do that carnage? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'll get you. Yeah. One then the last one's assault bike and thruster. 21, 18, 15. Base any weight and then you gotta lunge it to the end. Perfect. Perfect. I don't, we don't know the weights. I think, I think I saw 155 out there. Anyway. The question was if your hand goes on the line, can you slide it back? Okay, come forward. Place your hand on the line. You are not clear of the line here. You must get forward of the line. Go forward. Yeah, and then as you turn, your hand goes on the red. Yeah, hand cannot be on the red. Okay. Must be beyond the red. Clearly beyond the red. Uh -oh. I'd say, but I just had not. Still got it. Still got it. You still got it. Yeah, you got it. Just take it. Yeah. These guys do. Athletes may pull at any style as long as they remain seated. You cannot stand up during the pull. In the event of the time cap, eat six foot seconds on the sled. Sure. Okay. I asked, I asked Rich too, and he said no. Yeah, no fucking chance. We got a couple new champions, probably. Let, let them have a moment. Yep, I'm good. I agree. Or something. Uh, Thank you so much. Crazy. Three, One, yep. two, three. How did that happen? I don't know. I guess either bags piled up and then on a turnover or uh, <clears throat> okay, off of us, off of us, off one of those two. Is uh, like, do, do you guys know which bone? Like, is he done? We're gonna see if he can go out there and do something. Okay. Uh, you're somber. You yeah, it sucks. Yeah, you don't want to talk about it. Nah. No. Right. Maybe later, but not right now. I don't know if that's a good idea. Is Rebecca your fucking spy? What? Is Rebecca your fucking spy? Did you pay her off? You just happened to show up like at all the fucking right moments, and I just realized I saw her running with you. Ooh, I'm gonna fucking. I don't seen... even know Rebecca. Are you his her. fucking spy? Are you like going and getting him? No, I don't even know who she is. Only a rain. Sevan, you're a terrible liar. Every time you don't have a response <laughs> at the ready, it's like, dude, clearly. Uh, we're hearing rumors that he broke his foot. Is there any truth to that? I mean, it's not really for me to disclose the medical issue, but he does have a foot issue, yeah. Um, we're going to talk to him, see what his intent is. Uh, at this point, you know, he can still take the field um, if he understands the ramifications. He's got double unders to do. But the, the trans We're hearing that he may be uh, wanting to go out and try to do them on one foot. But we need to talk to him, and his translators stepped out for a minute, so. We haven't decided yet. Haven't decided. Yeah, we have not decided. 
He's uh, most likely taking the floor and going to try to do things. But it's like double under, so. So we'll have to do it one leg. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, it looks like the big guy over there might have a foot issue. Yeah. And does that change your strategy at no. all uh, now that the, the top five is going to sh shift? Not really. I mean, you know, I was still hunting for either main maintenance or, you know, increase in position, right? It definitely makes the podium more of a potential and I mean it'd be bittersweet you know finishing knowing like you know he was going to beat me right um I roll you know it's funny I rolled my ankle last year doing the up and overs luckily I didn't do anything super serious um but same thing up and overs just probably twisted it he just twisted it worse yeah it doesn't really change anything for me but um you know makes the possibility of podiuming a lot more possible which is exciting, but it's definitely bittersweet. Like, it feels, you know, kind of less sincere. I mean, there was nothing about that event. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know if he, like, maybe jumped on a bag or if he just, just came down hard on the turf and just rolled it, right? Um, either way, I don't think there's anything in the structure of that event that I see that I really flag as, like, a huge safety risk. Like, I think there was some maybe other little things throughout the weekend that look more of a safety risk than that you know like just the like doing the pirouettes on the high box i was like oh yeah. i don't know something could happen there and nothing did and then something happens on this Ooh, look at this how good does that look you'll eat that before you go out there uh, i'll try some of it as much as i <laughs> as much as i can <laughs> while still staying as light as possible is, is that a um, huge part of your diet rice your, your rice guy or? yeah rice sweet potato is where i get most of my most of my carbs throughout the year for sure oh, that looks good actually it's not too bad yeah. it's like Nah, I'm alright. Brennan, I don't want to jinx you, but if, let's say, you were to drop that, I saw you balance that on your knee right there for a split second. If that were to drop, would that have, like, thrown you for a loop or something? Like, would you no. have a backup food? No. you. Cool. I, got, I got other stuff. You're chill. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't have it, panicked and been like, oh, fuck. No, I mean... OCD kick the, in or something. No, the, no, okay. the food stuff is uh, not an exact science. Like, I think you try to as much as you can, but you also got to listen to your body and... If you don't think you can get it down, you don't get it down. Like, When's the last time you uh, threw up in a workout? Tough subject while you're eating. I apologize. At least it's your own vomit. It's not anyone else. Hmm. Oh, that's a good sign. That you can't I think it's only happened when I've actually been like sick beforehand. Like actually had like the flu. Right. I'm talking with my mouth full. Sorry, guys. For you at home that don't like that, you'll be all right. Not that anyone wants anyone to get hurt, but it's got to be a little invigorating, right? So it's just like blood in the water. It's a little chum, isn't it? I don't think so. No, really? It's not like... It. I think that sucks. I think everybody who... Everybody who's here understands how much work it takes to get here. And that's the last thing anybody wants to see. Right. You know, I don't want to go stand on the podium because somebody else got hurt the last minute. Like, that's... No. I don't think anybody feels happy about that. Uh, does it change your game plan at all? No, I mean, you're still in the same race as you were in. So, two more workouts. Try to create some more buffer on this one, and then hopefully not have to die on the last one. But uh, I know who I have to beat. Any concern about the fingertips? Uh, you tore your fingertips pretty bad, put the rope before, and now you got another rope. Yeah, I'm not super pleased to see more ropes. I thought we were, after this morning, I kind of thought we might be done doing pulling, and I was excited about it, and... Turns out we're not. So we'll see. I'll manage it, but I could have gone without this, that's for sure. Now, you are a good puller, though, right? Usually, yeah. Yeah. Usually. I don't think this workout's about the pull, though. I think it's about the double unders and transitions, being smooth all the way throughout. But don't hate the parallel bars. Don't hate the heavy rope. I think it'll be all right. He won, gentlemen. This you got kicked out of brood, is that true? Hmm? Is that true, you got kicked out of brood? Yeah, they kicked me out yesterday. Fired again. The sucker's loose. It's just the way of life? Yeah. Yeah, we just don't want, um, we don't want anything to be, yes, exactly. Uh, 
that's your sustenance, and that guy's supposed to be in your support team. He just ate your food. Yeah. Snack up. He needs rig fuel. He needs what? Rig fuel. What? So if you were from the UK, rig no. fuel. Break fuel. Break rig. Fuel? Rig. rig. No, rig fuel, man. In the UK, rig fuel. they call this your body rig. the rig. The rig, oh yeah. So you want yeah. a proper rig. Yeah, 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 a nice rig. He needs rig fuel. Keep me laughing. Let's talk about yesterday. Come off the weightlifting event. Yeah. All the camera guys are too big of pussies to come over and talk to you. I come over and talk to you. Matt Torres waves me off. Hey, did he? <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> no, fuck that. Good for him. Uh, th- can you tell me what was going on out there on the floor yesterday? Yeah, I just literally didn't have legs. I don't know. I was failing back here uh, every lift. Um, I don't know. I uh, we I think uh, none of us knew what was going on with my body. So. We just had to make a last-minute plan to kind of go power just so we could get something. Um, I think we didn't even think I would hit anything. I think Dom went up to Matt and goes, I don't even think we're hitting any lifts today. Um, So to pull, like, 187 snatch was, like, finally something. Um, The clean and jerk, I mean, that's what was expected, you know. And, And then what happens, like, you just get overrun by emotion? Yeah, like, you know, it's not fun being out there. Like, it's not fun watching your competitors have fun lifting. You know, like, you want to be doing that too. You know, it's really hard to watch. And, you know, it's really hard to be out there hearing people cheer not for you. You know? So, whatever. Uh, Do you get angry or do you get sad? Uh, You know, this year there's just a lot of circumstances. Um, It's just a lot of, like, disappointment. Um, It's hard when you're already focused on the end of the games. Um, You know, last year I was in a much different position. This year we're just fighting with what we have currently. Um, It's just different. Not fun. Uh, How is your body holding up? Are you healthy now? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I came in pretty healthy. Um, I had some unfortunate circumstances before the games. Um, I had to take, like, quite a, quite some time off. Um, I was on some antibiotics that I think, I don't know, just kind of, like, fucked my body up. Because two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, Danielle, like, is not the same Danielle that's here. Um, just the timing is really poor. Like, my body's never operated like this, and I think we just don't know what's going on. So, unfortunate. Disappointing. He won, gentlemen. Two workouts left. Do you like what you see? I do like it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Like, and my body feels good. It's just not responding. Um, What does that? What what does that mean? Like, you know, I'm. You know, a lot of people like to say, "Oh, maybe she's not mentally not there," Um, which is unfortunate because mentally I'm showing up, um, and I'm trying to push, but but physically my body's just not responding to what I want it to do, and I don't know why. Um, But I like the workouts. I like, you know, I really like the last one. I like this one. The final, I like it. I've been working on Echo Bike, so we'll see. Like, super big picture, like, you yeah. signed up for this yeah. fucking, like, tightrope act that you're doing, right? Yeah. Come out here in front of all these people and, like, push your body to some, like, expect your body to do something it's never done before, kind of, right? Yeah. Like, to the outskirts. Yeah. Yeah, it's just import- bad timing. Right? You know? Yeah, it is something you sign up for. Like, do you accept the disappointment? I just know... It's, it's just tough, right? Like, I know I'm so much more capable, but it's really tough accepting that, like, where I'm at right now this weekend, because of some kind of uncontrollable situations, that, like, I'm expecting to perform at a higher level than, like, what I have right now. Like, I just can't. Like, and that's so hard to accept, right? Like, mentally, I'm out there wanting this ca- capacity and capability and mentally I'm there, but capability wise, like I'm just a little lower. Um, and it's just like, it's really hard to accept and it's like really defeating. And I've never 
I've never kind of been in that position physically where like I'm asking my body to do something and it's not doing it. You know what I mean? Like, and no matter how mentally hard I'm doing it, you know, like this shit's hard. Like you can be all mentally there and sometimes it just won't fucking happen. And like, that's tough to accept, especially with how much like hard work we put in, you know, and all because of time, you know, poor timing, you know. Coaches for he won. They're going In a few hours, now. this will all be over. Coaches There'll be thousands of people out there who want to see you. Yeah. Um, sign your autograph, take pictures with you. Yeah. Are, are you going to do that kind of stuff? Or? Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, like, it is, it's like a good time to reflect that, like, people don't give a fuck how you do. People what? People don't give a fuck how you do. Right. Like, ultimately. Yeah. Like, I'll literally have people be like, did you win? Like, they don't know. <laughs> you know? Like, people loved me before I got fourth place last year. Right. You know? Um, like they like something else about you yeah they, and yeah. you know what like I can confidently say like if I had won or you know how I'm gonna finish like I'm gonna have so many friends and family like that are here for me no matter what and like some people don't have that mm. they're gonna finish they're gonna get what they wanted mm. and they're gonna look around and be like I really don't have that many people like where are my friends at right oh I got my coach yeah. I got my training partners and that's it. I have a lot more than that. Yeah. And I, like that's something to be fucking thankful for. There are people who don't have that. You know? Like they're gonna winning is amazing and it's really cool. But when you look around and you're successful and you don't have people, that's shitty. Because they don't they don't care what you get. You know. In a couple years, like they're like, wait, what'd you get that one year right, at the games? Right, right, right. So it's a good time to reflect on things like that. Shitty, but. Thank you. Yeah. I train with Royce at CrossFit Touring in Australia. Yeah. I used to um, live in New Zealand. I just moved over to Australia like probably like four months, three months ago now. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been good. What year? This, this, is, your, this is not your first year, is it? Well, yeah, as an indie, yeah. I went as a teenager in, like, 2017. Oh, how old are you? 23. Oh, wow. How old is that? How old does he look? 30. Oh, look say, like just 26. say it. 26. Oh, that's good. Not too bad. If I shave this, I'll look 12. He just kind of showed up out of nowhere. Like, all of a sudden, yeah. like, I didn't see him, and then all of a sudden, last night I looked at the leaderboard, and there's this dude, Bailey Martin, like, in 7th or 8th. I was like, where the fuck did this guy come from? <laughs> Like do you crazy, like, do right? You like this workout? Yeah, I I don't know what to expect, but it's different, so it'll be fun. Yeah. Just kind of figure it out while I'm out there. It'll be cool though. Are you gymnast? Yeah, too? I like gymnast stuff. Yeah, like the P bars. That's fun. Yeah. Not the thrusters and. Oh, yeah. oh. We're not worried about that one yet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. At least it's like it's lighter than I thought. Yeah, I thought it'd be like. Our bar would be like 185. I know. But it's so it's not that. It's not it's that not too bad. bad yeah. What's crazy here is he's trying to figure out how to help Roman, but he's gonna fucking knock out Paige Powers. <laughs> <laughs> the one like the one legged hop, you know? Yeah, I got a lot of that. Did he? Is that true, Scott? <laughs> he, he claims that he told Rich to tell them to have, but it's common sense. If you have one working foot, you're yeah, not going to jump on it. Inventing a light bulb was common sense. Candles are stupid. Someone still had to do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey. Man, me and you, dude. Don't let Scott bully us. I mean, well, I mean and Shane, Shane Orr made a good point. He said, well, what was the no, alternative? He no, he didn't. I mean, I don't know what the alternative would be, but actually, I think if he had a boot on, he could he could double under. You know what I mean? It's, it's like the cushion. Broken foot. Yeah, I've done the several things. Yeah. Um, hurt. Yeah. Obviously. Um. <laughs> that was good. I've never been waved off by Rich. That's the first. Yeah, I mean, I slept in the bed next to him in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> he must not have seen me. He must not have seen you or I. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's go. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Gentlemen, five minute warning. Appreciate that. Thanks for backing up for me. Um, yeah, they, I mean, broken foot. So. But what'd you do here? Nothing. Nothing productive. Just tell him we're behind him. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, he's. So you brought in prayer? Yeah, brought in prayer. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Well, this special foot prayer, too, even. Special I heard foot it. prayer. Yeah, yeah, it was the the saint, the prayer of the saints from the foot thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's just, uh, yeah, give him a little extra power. Try to help. You know, give him. Is he religious? Uh, we've never really had these those discussions before, but, um, you know. So you need it. You, you need it. Who knows? Who knows? You know, maybe that, maybe that's. Maybe it's what he needs, so. Uh, that's right. But he's a fighter, so I'm looking for, I, I'm just proud of him for not, not withdrawing, you know, like, he's gonna, we're gonna see something. Do you have any one foot double under tips? No, I don't, I don't. You ever tried those? No, I've tried them, not very well. Moment's been so good. It's just, you know, our hearts go out to that kind of situation. It sucks. I mean, it's obviously for Pat, it takes a little bit of stress off his shoulders, but the, what was like moving forward with these events, the problem's not Roman, it's behind Pat. So the focus is still there, the stress is still there, but there's a little bit more room to kind of, but uh, just he still has to do his thing, you know. Uh, hey, what's the worst injury you ever had in uh, CrossFit Games? CrossFit Games? Yeah. Or semifinals or, or build up to the games? I mean, I tore my meniscus in 17 the week before regionals, and that was not a pleasant experience. Um, and you did regionals in the games with that thing all, all mangled up? Yeah. 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 You just kind of do it. I mean, he'll get out there. And I know. How'd you do that year? Did you win? No. That was the year we got second. Damn you, Savon. <laughs> Why do you bring that up? You made me cry in here. Uh, no, nah, man. Like, uh, he's a fighter. He's. I'm. I'm looking forward to seeing. I know he's. He's not happy with it, but it's things you can't control. And uh, I'm. I'm proud of him for. Hey, shrugging it off. I know they're trying to tell him that. Hey, it's going to make it worse, but. It's hard to tell a competitor that you know you got to not compete. So. Um, yeah. You know, I, I hate it for him, but it's gonna get crazy in there when the crowd finds out something's wrong with him. Yeah, like they're gonna go fucking bonkers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so I mean, I wonder if he knows. That. Probably not. No. Well, he'll figure it out. Quick. Figure it out. Quick. Which I'm fine with trash talking, but yeah. don't touch. Like, don't, don't touch me. You know, like this isn't a contact oh, sport. Oh, he did, you know. did touch him. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know 100% oh. sure. Okay. Um, okay. That's just the rumors, but yeah. I mean, yeah, other sports there's trash talking. Like we're yeah. missing a little bit of that. I'm fine with that, but don't don't like in a in a non-contact sport. You know, like if right. you're running and there's a bunch of people, the contact's gonna happen. But yeah. if it's just me and you running and you're like patting me or doing whatever, yeah, we're gonna. It, you touch me and something else happens, you know, so. How about uh, Lazar and uh, Luke? Are they good? Everything good? I think so. Uh, I haven't really seen them communicate but yeah. I mean Scott uh, Scott has video evidence of what happened so it was Luke's fault but <laughs> oh shit yeah I mean he just tried to get aggressive Gentlemen, and you know make the inside of a turn and Lazar technically had position and so it is what it is you know so Lazar so yeah you, uh, you don't mind a little bike tussling either oh man like a sports like that's the one thing we're missing not missing in this sport but hey we're not gonna all be kumbaya all the time like it's competition so um, yeah, I mean, I don't love it that it's inside our camp, but it is what it is. You know, hey, competitors. Everybody's competitors. We don't, you know, it is what it is. She's great. Out of Laura's greatness, though, right? So, Laura, Laura's great on all this. You saw the, uh, you were there for the interview I did with her earlier today? I was somewhat close by. Did you hear it? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Why? Because uh, it was very character revealing because. She slapped me around for 15 minutes. Yeah. And I asked her, how was the interview? She, she said, oh, it was really nice to him. Yeah. No, she, hey, 
She's a, she has a different. Uh, she's a tough cookie sometimes, but uh, once you break her down and get yeah. to her core, she's yeah. she's great. I'm gonna work on it. Yeah, you're getting there. Right, Pr good. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm bad for him. Yeah. He's gonna take a fork. Is he gonna want? She's a, she's a tough I don't think he's gonna quit. He's not quitter. Russians don't feel pain. He's still working on that. A little pain, but not too much. He'll be fine. I hope so. Let's see. Hope they let him go. Because also, I don't think single like the, the blunders count. They have, it has to be like. Hmm? We'll see. I'm sure he still beat some people in this workout with one foot only. Yeah, he is badass. element of the competition people don't really get a chance to see. They see these elite athletes and they make things look so easy. And we forget that they're humans, they're friends, they're dads. And so like, that's it. Like that's that's crossed it in a nutshell. And as a dad like hearing him talk about his son, I'm already a crier to begin with so yeah, that was a special moment. Unfortunate that Rome, it's a special moment due to something bad for Roman, but like that's why the games is so special. That's why being here is different than watching from home. And 
Yeah, that's a, that's a Coliseum moment we'll never forget. What do you think about the last one? The last one is the bunches and thrusters. Я бы хотел просто на этой стороне, где больно. Поэтому я не прыгал на Дайте мне просто выйти и все. Я же могу крутить байк. I mean, what he did right now, he jumped on his one leg, he, he can bike, and he's scared to go. Goodness, oh my goodness. You should play Guess the Bicep. Oh, that's a good game. People would get me and you confused for sure. <laughs> Seth, How's, dude? How's it going? <clears throat> it's going very well if you choose to look at it that way, which I am. <laughs> uh, uh, is any part of you like, well, at least my foot's not broken? No, no okay. I wouldn't say that's the case. Okay. I, I did think that uh, just now for Chandler though, and I don't know if this is like a thought that you're not supposed to share out loud, but he was right on the cusp of podium contention and didn't do very well in that workout. And as a comfort, I thought to say, well, at least you're not the guy with the broken foot, but that doesn't sound nice to either of them. So I didn't say it. <laughs> You're a good dude. I try. <clears throat> I'm good. I was well that ends well. Almost sniped Brent at the end, but almost got Brent at the end. Not quite though. But that's alright. Take second place. We both made a couple mistakes on the parallel bars early though. So not a clean race. Yeah. I just I the, the question I asked in the briefing was if you needed both hands across the line before you started your turn, or if when I had one hand across and then I brought my other hand across Ladies, starting my turn, one. that was allowed. Neo, and I said, no, you need both hands across and then turn. And first I fully on the first one, nine. went out one hand across, went for the Rolf big wide turn, and I was like, eight. got to the halfway, and then turned back, put seven. my hand back, and then went back Powers to the pure and Brent did the same thing. <laughs> Brandon in lane five. I think he just jumped down and did the whole Flores thing. Again, I think that what sucks is that now that's going to be the what if of this season is like if Roman didn't break his foot, could he have made a comeback on these last two workouts? And hopefully that doesn't discredit whoever does win it. But who knows? He might have been able to. Yeah, that's how it goes every year, every game. It is what it is. Chandler oh said that he has won the best chest at the games for the last five years in a row oh, between men and women. <laughs> Everybody. He said he's got that down pat. Wow, this really is your last year. You're really going for it. Oh, I didn't say it. I'm just relaying the message. Right. Right. Dave, what ended up being the um, decision with uh, Roman? We haven't made it yet. How about the Spirit of the Games Award? What do you think? Penis trophy or no penis trophy? What's up? What's Adler doing? Is he just doing just the bare minimum? Is he doing that strategy? <laughs> Is he just chilling? To... You should ask him that question and see what he says. No, I think you gotta pick your battles. But he's not, he's not threatened at the moment. He's not? No. But he's good at thrusters. He'll be fine on the last one. Hey, congratulations, dude. Thank you. Well, there's like four or five of us in the group. That a lot just, of grunting. Just don't, not <laughs> dragging. Just don't process. You know, like, you know, Hillary. One day she's sitting there when I'm talking about me and Dad, and she's like, "I said we never really had like a deep, meaningful conversation. It just, it's understood. You know, we don't like, need to. We don't need to." And yeah. She's like, "That's sad." And I'm like, "Why is that sad?" 
I'm like, I know my dad loves me, like 100%. Never questioned it. Yeah. I don't need to like, we don't need to talk about it. No. It. So it's just like, we just know, you know? So, exactly, it just works. And I finally just realized I don't really have, emo I'm dead inside for the most part, you know? Like, other than my kids, it's the only emotion I have. That's it. Yeah. So. That was the, that was the best text you sent to our team ever the other day. It was, right? It was the, like, the first, compliment. like, usually I just don't, I'm like, Guys, I don't say it enough. Good job. Like, you know, the, somebody said, so, uh, like, "Hey, who hacked Rich's phone? No, exactly. What's going on? Well, Who's so got we were it?" Sitting on that, we we're sitting with the group, and they're like, "You know what it felt like out there? It felt like a Chick Fil A. Everything was efficient. Everybody was nice." And I'm like, "I'm gonna text that to the group." And I was like, "Good job, guys." Somebody said it was a Chick. Basically, is what I said. And they were like, "Hey, hey thanks." You know, someone says, "We're a chicken sandwich, we're a chicken guys." Sandwich, hey. <laughs> the service, everything. I was like, "All right, that's, that's good." Amazing. So it's cool. That's exactly right. You let this guy back here. I mean, dear God. When you grabbed my butt, crushing. when you grabbed my butt yesterday, I knew you loved me. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. He's just standing there filming. I'm just holding, and he's not even breaking camera. He's not even moving. Test number eleven is the parallel bar pull. Eight rounds for time. Down and back on the P bar. Traverse thirty heavy jump rope. Double unders. Hand over bit. hand. Sled pull. Now watch Paige Fox here. She's really good gymnastic. But she's just a really good athlete. Danielle Brandon is in the lead. Here. You're gonna see Danielle push through the entire foot, almost as if a deadlift setup, right? It's almost like a sumo deadlift high pull you learn at the level one. Total body movement, so it's quarter extremity. Absolutely. We reach, right? Well, Danielle Brandon just ripped through that test. She's gonna set the top time at eight. 48.42 seconds. And Lawson and Laura Horvath still battling for the top spot. Lawson has a 23 point lead over Horvath. Horvath was able to shave 25 points off of that deficit in the prior test. Now in the lead, back to the double under. Emma in the white sports bra, our leader, red shorts, is in dead last. on top of the podium. Final sled pull here for Laura Horvath, and then one last parallel bar traverse. And Laura Horvath, two for two on Sunday and will be number one with one test remaining. First going to last one. What? We should be in first going to last one. One more time? We should be in first place going into the last event. And when you see we we I mean that girl right there. Wait, yes, that girl on TV. Yeah. We, yeah, I did nothing. I played zero part in this. Just I'm I'm just I'm just along for the ride. God, how exciting. Dude, it's crushing. Good job. That was good work. Yeah. 
individual athletes, please make your way over to lane Who does Danielle Brandon text after a win? Harbath in lane six. Emily. <laughs> Lawson in lane five. What do you say to her? I just, bu I just busted on some four. girls. No, she she texted me first. She Randy said, crush it despite six. forgetting the rope change. Paul in lane and I said, two. yeah, you're right. Thorstar in <laughs> lane one. Rookie ass mistake. Coaches, Wait, what happened out there with your rope? The I just uh, thought after the four rounds, I forgot to change it. Oh, oh. Like, because I just wasn't fucking listening in briefing or anything. So what happened? Did you do a few double unders with the wrong rope? No, I like finished the fourth round, and then you know how you had to like grab the rope and run down with it and put it on the new one? I like didn't quite know when I was supposed to do that, so I just like finished the rope, and I was like, oh, I'll do like my traverse and double unders and then change it. But it was like you had to change it before that round. Um, Just like stupid. How'd you do in that heat? Did you take four? No, I won. Oh, I'm one of those friends that just likes it. I'm like, remember we were talking about it before? Some people don't even know. Exactly, they don't even care. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, They look at first Cooper's eating your shit, (laughs) now Torres is eating your shit. I got got finally eat. They all want it. Okay. That's for sure. Too much? That was a perfect amount. <laughs>